Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and the first vlog of our little series here from the Isle of Wight. Charlotte's here with me. Yeah, first time in the Isle of Wight. I can't believe you've never been before. No, I've never been. Like, I visited as a kid and then came back three years ago. Had a great time and we thought, you know what? It's summer, the sun's going to be shining, it's going to be really warm. We'll be able to go on the beaches, put our shorts on. What's the weather been like? It's been awful. <laughs> so we arrived last night and it was raining all day yesterday. It was, yeah. It was horrible. But so, uh, yes, welcome to Black Gang. Chine, where we're starting off this little vlog series. This is actually the oldest theme park here in the United Kingdom that dates back to 1842. This place is old. Wow! It's got so much history to it. It's got a few rides, but it's mainly about walkthrough attractions and experiences. It's the land of imagination, as they like to call it. And uh, yeah, last came here three years ago. Had a great time. It's got some really funny stuff here, Charlotte. I'm excited. Honestly, get me back in there. There's some things in here that I uh, had such a good laugh at last time in a good way. Like, this place is so fun. It's great for families and adventurers. It is just a great place to come here on the Isle of Wight. So come and join us as we enjoy our trip here to Black Gang Chine. So as I was walking across from the car park, as you can see there from the two figures, they've got the masks on, uh, which is quite a cool little feature that they've added down here at Black Gang Chine. And of course, a nice photo opportunity there as you're coming off the car park. Then you make your way here down to the main entrance and you've got the huge statue just here that again is a fantastic photo opportunity. Big, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely massive. There we go, so Charlotte's going to uh, stand under him for you. Wow, you're not even as big as his shoes just there. <laughs> Gives you a good idea on the size. And over here, there is a dragon that just keeps coming out of here. This wasn't here last time, so it's going to be really interesting just to see kind of like, uh, you know, what else has changed here since my last visit. I don't know how often it comes out or not, but uh, yeah, like there's this big dragon and he just lifts up out of here. It's rumbling away. I don't know how often he goes off, but we'll try and capture him. Oh, there he is. Love that. Again, what a fantastic photo opportunity. And this really sets the tone for what you experience here at Black Gang Chine. Lots of little walkthroughs and interactive. Like an angry segment. <laughs> there he is. He's going back in. That's it. He's gone. Off he goes. But yeah, that's a really nice little uh, effect there. Right, we're waiting for him to open at 10 o'clock. And we're going to head in and go and enjoy some of the walkthrough attractions, including one of my favourites. There's a certain donkey that I can't wait for you to meet. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Right then, so we're inside the park and look at the view. It's pretty stunning, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, really? what a location for a park. Oh, really nice. Anyway, I decided to show you the uh, map just over here. Here we go. So yeah, this shows you a full map of Black Gang Chine, the land of imagination. Of course, they're still giving out paper maps here, which is nice as well. Nice to see a paper map. <laughs> it's rare in this day and age that you get a paper map these days. But yeah, of course, we've just come in down here at the entrance. So yeah, in terms of rides down here, you've got the uh, one roller coaster over there. There's like a teacups ride. And there's also as well uh, a dinghy slide water force that there is down there. But it's not really about the rides at all, this park. It's about all of this, the land of imagination. So of course, you've got a dinosaur area. That's just restricted area five that you can see over there. You've got the crooked house to go inside, um, the pirate cove area, which is just around this corner. Uh, and then up the top here, you've got the underwater kingdom walkthrough. And then you've got Rumpus Mansion just down here. That's the one that I'm looking forward to getting back inside. Rumpus Mansion. There's a certain little friend of ours in there to go and see. <laughs> and then along with that, you've got so Snakes and Ladders, the play area over there. I think that is closed at the moment, though, probably because of social distancing. And then you've got the Cowboy Town just at the top here that I was really impressed with last time. Really well themed and uh, lots to see. But yeah, let's go and uh, start off and get through some of these uh, walkthrough attractions. Come and join us. Yes, here at Black Gang Chine, the oldest theme park in the UK. Here we go, Charlotte's in a big nest to start our day. Uh, and I just thought I'd mention this park. Yes, it dates back to 1842. It's actually still owned by the same family. It's been passed down over all them years, which is very rare, isn't it? I'm so glad that uh, with the pandemic and everything, they've still managed to, you know, keep this park in the same family. Amazing how it's just been passed down over the years. Another fascinating fact for you about Black Gang Chine, of course, over the years, they've actually had to move things further inland uh, because, I mean, look at the gorgeous location. It is pretty stunning. It really is but uh, yeah of course um, you know over the years the land is just getting smaller yeah. uh, so it means they have to bring things in and build new areas yeah. <laughs> he's got uh, sunglasses on sunglasses. now is he supposed to have sunglasses on or has somebody put them on do you think I don't know that's got a witch's hat on some glasses so oh yeah yeah maybe so well that's the thing here there's so much quirky stuff to look around like... <laughs> it's just so quirky I love it 
So this is the Dodo Valley area now. And of course, a few years ago, they celebrated 175 years of the park and they got a little uh, 175 birthday cake just down there as well. Lots of interactives here, lots of buttons to press, as you're going to no, see. No, 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 no. He's speaking to you, Charlotte. The kind of beans in the bath. <laughs> do, do, do. What's this one do? Oh! Hey! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! 175 Black Gang China, everybody! Happy birthday! Oh, and then he goes! <laughs> what do you think to that? That was good. <laughs> what else we got? There we go, I'll let you do the honours. There we go. I think the seesaw's going to move. I think so too. Oh. 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 And yeah, Charlotte says you got your black gang beans just over there. Uh, they are oh. definitely don't look like Heinz, those, do they? <laughs> Bit of black gang beans. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Right, there's another button to press just over here. It's DJ Dodo, here we go. Hey! <laughs> I like how he's even got the DJ Dodo cap on there as well. <laughs> Brilliant, and there's a lot of lighting around here. They do a lot of special events throughout the year here at Black Gang Chine and also at their sister park, Robin Hill. We're going to be visiting there tomorrow, so stay tuned for that vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. Here we go, back on the top bit then now. Got a button to press just here. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, he spins around that way. There we go, you get a nice little panorama actually over this, uh, this area just here. There you go, you can see your beans down there. People have been there uh, chucking coins, it seems, to try and land them in the top. <laughs> but yeah, it's, so really, it's really nice, lovely little place. It's got so much charm and character to it. Yeah, there's a the little uh, play area that they've got over there. So much play equipment and little photo opportunities. Like this pirate that they've got just over here. Oh, I'm glad it's staying dry for us so far today. Look at this view, pretty spectacular here on the Isle of Wight. And this afternoon we're going to be making our way to an attraction that I've not done for a very, very long time since I was a kid. We didn't get a chance to do this on the Isle of Wight a few years ago. It's the Needles landmark attraction. You can just see the little lighthouse over there and the Needles themselves. But we'll be uh, talking all about that in the vlog this afternoon because we're going to be going on a chairlift over there, nice classic chairlift, and hopefully a little boat ride as well. They do like 20 minute boat rides, weather permitting. So fingers crossed, because where are we going? We're going to the Needles, Needles, <laughs> Needles, Needles, Needles. Tell the viewers why you've just sung that. So I've just been excited to see the Needles, so we've just been doing this little song. <laughs> yeah, he was just, every time I said, oh, do you want to go to the Isle of Wight? And we'll go and do this and we'll go to the I'm Needles. Sorry, we're going to the Needles. Needles needles needles, 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 needles. So there you go, that's the Needles song. Yeah. So there we go, you've got a little preview of it. But yeah, that's going to be coming up. That's the next vlog here for this trip over to the Isle of Wight. Right, so we're going into the Vortex attraction then now. I just thought I'd show you here. They've put these little cards up around the park with lots of facts on. The smuggler has only just changed his clothes. So, of course, you've got the large 30-foot smuggler at the entrance to the park. It's massive, brilliant photo opportunity. And, yeah, he's only actually been in place since 1987. And, uh, yeah, in 2018, that's when he first had a change of clothes. That's shocking. Shocking. I bet he stunk. Here we go. Let's get inside the Vortex. So this is literally... A vortex tunnel. Here we go. Yeah, it's a little spinning vortex. It doesn't show up really well on the camera. Vortex trommel, whatever you like to call them. But yeah, you walk down the platform and the room spins around you. Just a little walk through attraction. Here we go then, so it's like being back at F-Telling in the Netherlands that have these special bins that talk to you just here. Have you got any rubbish? Oh, yeah. Put it straight in, there you go. Yeah. Oh, he's liking that. Yeah. Girl, you did that. Did you like that? <laughs> <laughs> you got any more rubbish oh, for him or do not? So I think, don't think I've got anything. You want some more rubbish, do no, you, mate? I wouldn't say no to a little more. Oh, a little more? I don't know if Charlotte's got a little more or not. Oh, oh there we go, one receipt, in it goes. That's it. <laughs> That's better, I needed that. 
I love it. All these little quirky Ooh, things that they've got I down there. I do here. beg your pardon. <laughs> You're right. No worries. Now I wouldn't say no to a little boy. I ain't got any more. Oh, but yeah, F telling in the Netherlands, which is one of our favourite parks. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of these, yeah, like papier here, which in Dutch is uh, paper here, I think it stands for. We also have a nice chocolate oh, shop here. Yeah, so in terms of food, like they've got a few different options down here, but yeah, you've got a little uh, bit Belgian waffles, churros. Donuts. Oh, there you go, you can't have food yet. We yeah. just have breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> right, where are we going now, Charlotte? The underwater kingdom. Underwater kingdom. We've got Rumpus Mansion, which is down that way in Cowboy Town. We'll uh, save those, but uh, yeah, we'll head down here. I was really impressed with this last time. A really nice walkthrough um, with all the audio, the visuals. And like I say, it's all about photo opportunities here as well. Stuff like this, all the lighting they've got in there. It's very pretty. It's a nice signage. And I do like the little uh, crab just up there at the top. So yeah, we walk around this corner into this magical underwater kingdom. Oh, so we got all the mysterious music playing. Walking inside now. Welcome to the magical underwater kingdom. Look at all this with the lighting. Oh, all the audio and lighting, it all comes together in a really nice themed experience. They do a really good job with that here. So far, it's like we've got the place to ourselves. I mean, there was a few other people coming in, but then they've gone down to the coaster first. Just so peaceful. It's a really nice sensory kind of experience coming here as well. Very relaxing. You can just, you know, sit inside here and just take it all in for a long period of time. And here we come. We're underwater. Can you swim? <laughs> hey. Little uh, animatronic crab just over here. He's doing a little dance for you. There you go. His legs going. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you doing? Honestly, though, when I was a kid, I would have absolutely loved like all of these little things. Oh, here we go. She's off doing a little dance. But the theming, <laughs> literally, the theming's really good here as well. Like all the coral that they've got around here. He does. He's speaking to you now. <laughs> do do do. Little starfish down here. All the corals, all round at the side. I like how they got the little eyes just on there. They look like lights actually as well. She's still going. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a massive whale to see in a moment. Big whale. Here we go. Yeah, all the little eyes that light up just down here. It's a really well themed little place. It's lovely. Like, like I say, if you're looking for somewhere that's got lots of rides and stuff, it, this isn't the place. But if you want a nice family day out with a good experience. Here we go. So yeah, this whale is like a a replica of the, the original that started the park. You know, that's that kind of the story of Black Gang Chine. They found this big whale and put it on display, basically. But yeah, I love it down here. A lot of money was spent on all the theming and details. Like I say, coming back here now a few years on, I forgot just how good some of this theming was. Party time! <laughs> yeah, we'll come round to the big whale shortly. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So catchy, isn't it? Little uh, clownfish just up there, or a little Nemo as we all like to call him. She's still going, yeah. <laughs> here you go, so yeah, you've got this little uh, shipwreck just to crawl through here, the little crow's nest down here. Are you coming in Charlotte or am I on my own? I can't get Here we go. Oh, we're crawling round. There we go, so yeah, it's actually quite a big crawling section. And then you've got all these little scenes to see just in here. There you go, that is a little, uh, is it an octopus in there or is it another crab? I'm not too sure. Got some uh, treasure down there as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, literally, you're on your hands and knees throughout this whole thing. <laughs> How many adults really come through here? I'd love to know. There you go, another little scene just off there on the left-hand side. Are you coming in, Charlotte? Oh, she's stuck outside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what we got round here? Here we go. Another little, uh, another little side view of that scene with the uh, the crab, or is it an octopus? I'm really not too sure. Uh. There we go, and we follow it down this way. So unique though. Here we go, come to the little opening here Charlotte, I'll see you. Hello. Here we go, I'm here. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you? Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, uh, which way I'm going, here we go. Oh, uh, what have we got in there? Oh, we've got a skeleton and a, there's a flamingo in there as well. Little flamingo, is that the way? Oh no, there's a shark. Back up, we've got a shark. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, <laughs> here we go, round this way, I think. You actually stand up a little bit in this section. 
Yeah, I wonder how many adults actually come through here. There we go. We've got uh, one more scene, I think. Just here on the uh, on the left-hand side. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, they do a great job with all the theming down here at Black Gang Chide. Oh, I'm here. Are you here? I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm coming. Are you coming? Here we go. <laughs> I mean, there's no sign saying that it's just for kids only. There you go. Right, let's carry on walking through this wonderful, uh, magical kingdom just here. It's lovely. Really do enjoy it. Here we go. What we got going on over here? We've got a fish and his like tongue's going like this. We've got a massive tongue. There we go. Oh, he's stopped doing it now. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh look at that. There he goes. Fantastic. I love how his tongue like compresses in as well. It comes back out. You're a cheeky little fish, aren't you? Love it. <laughs> Who's this down here as well? It's like got a, a boot on the other side of him. There we go. Crazy. <laughs> oh, it's the theme in. Charlotte's still going with the uh, with the music. Little uh, photo opportunity down here as well. Yeah, it's lovely in all of these trees. You think about the history over the years. You know, so many changes and stuff have been made at this park over the years. It's a fascinating place, and I love the fact that it's still owned by the same family. And here we go, we make our way now around to the massive whale, huge whale. Like, again, you don't really get the, the scale of him, the perspective of just how big he is. So Charlotte can stand underneath and we can see the size of this massive whale down here at Black Gang Chine. There you go. <laughs> huge whale. It's a massive piece of theming. And tell you what, if I come more up on the side just here, look at that. Pretty incredible. I love how there's all the lighting up there on him as well. Can you hear him rumbling? Okay. I think he might eat you. He's hungry. Well, didn't somebody get inside a whale's mouth recently? Yeah, he got spat out. Well, there you go. That might happen to you if you're too close to him. But uh, it gives you a good idea on the size of how big these whales are. So crazy, isn't it? How many people do you reckon you can fit inside his stomach? Loads. A lot. Probably about 100 people or something. Like crazy. Really gives you an idea on the scale. Well, he's massive to us, but you imagine being a little kid coming here and seeing that. Like, they they amaze you, you know, in this land of imagination. Brilliant. Look at the size of him. Right then, so we're out of the underwater kingdom now. It's like a full walkthrough, that is. So yeah, it's a one-way only experience. But here we go, we're gonna head up to number 30 now, Rumpus Mansion. And of course, you've got the very heavily themed cowboy town up this way as well. But uh, yeah, up over this little bridge just here to Rumpus Mansion. This is definitely the highlight for me of Black Gang Chine. I think you're gonna enjoy it in here. Here we go, we've got to go and see our little friend, the donkey. It's been three years, we've been through this pandemic, I need a good laugh, so I can't wait to see him this way. <laughs> Welcome, foolish mortals, to Rumpus Mansion. Here we go, oh, it's very eerie down here. It's not too scary, I think it's more funny than scary when you get inside here. Here once was a fine house, spacious, warm and bright where the island's lords and ladies danced all into the night. Do you like that? You've got to read this one now. You've got to try and beat me there. Here we go. Then the viewers can comment who, who they think did the best uh, spooky voice. Here we go. When the boggarts and mommies and elves in they came took over the mansion, now things aren't the same. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? Bo Bogarts? Bo Bogarts? I don't know, I'm not too sure. Oh, we need to get the uh, hedge trimmer out down here. Can we get these bushes trimmed, please? Black, black gun shine. Here we go. Oh, it actually can't get in. Unless we, uh, here we go. It's dark and it's gloomy. The humans have fled. It's a fine house no longer. It's rumpus instead. <laughs> here we go. It is quite spooky. At first, you think it's going to be like a full-on haunted house, but then you get up here. There it is. Look at that. Rumpus Mansion. Love the build-up to it. Like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the haunting at Drayton Manor, how you walk through all the little forests there and see this old mansion. So here we go. We'll put our masks on and we'll get inside and we'll go and see Rumpus. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Come in, why don't you? Just step this way. Nice to meet you, Glenn. All are welcome. Come, come in. I'm 
the curtain. So how this experience works is that you don't press buttons, all the scenes actually activate as you walk up to them. So yeah, it kind of tells you this story as you make your way through. There's some great theming in here. I mean, look at that. Like, how amazing is that? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> I don't know what exactly it is, but here we go. So yeah, you've got little bits to read as well throughout the attraction. Like I say, it's all like sensor operated. But as Charlotte's walked oh, forward into this room, that's what the scene. There's fauna, snow wobblers, caterpillar babies, dragonflies and bees. Oh, it seems these jolly planters are circus troop of elves. So hold on to your valuables, or they might smash rooms as well. <laughs> There you go, so that scene comes to an end. You carry on walking through this way. There we go, we've got a little, uh, little gremlin just down there. Is that Rumpus himself? I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not too sure either, there we go. But yeah, it's a very nicely themed attraction. Monocles of corn and cobbles from me. Mine coal of good nutty slack. The lockers were chaotic in terms. Whilst the cobbles just put it all back. I like the false perspective that they've got here as well when you look through. And of course you see like the little animatronic down there at the back. The little ladder. We're getting closer and closer, Charlotte, to the highlight of Black Gang Chain. <laughs> yeah. Little window, he's got a jump scare for you there. Nice bit of Pepper's ghost effect there. That like Charlotte dressed up at Halloween. <laughs> Trick or treat! Yeah, like the force perspective and stuff you used in here and Pepper's ghost. What's that? There's a nice little friend for you now, mate. There you go. I think you need to get some clothes on, to be honest. Cross beyond this door. For many a fool hath done this deed and ne'er been seen no more. Beyond this tree lies a man. A I have to apologise if the camera just starts shaking with my laughter in here. There we go. Proceed this way. Oh dear. Oh dear, what's this down here? We've got to actually press the button. Within your heart is what I've sworn to do. So you better prepare for a mighty big scare when you see the real you. Just seeing him again. So I remember before we had to press the button before, but because of social distancing measures, uh, yeah, they're all automated. I reckon if we walk back, there's nobody here, we might get him again. What do you think to that? There we go. It's what I've sworn to do. So you better prepare for a mighty big scare. You look in the mirror and you think, what's going to happen? Here he comes. <laughs> What are your thoughts on that? I don't get it, it's just weird. I brought, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I brought you here to Black Gang Chai, especially to see that. We've got to see it again. Here we go. Is what I've sworn. Honestly. Better prepare for a mighty big scare. A mighty big scare. Here he comes! Oh! Hey. <laughs> Honestly. It is a family part, this, I promise. It is a family part. Honestly, one more, I've got to do it one more time whilst I'm here. Here we go. We're getting going. Oh! Ah, you must have the magic touch. I oh, know. 
Maybe the donkey's thinking, that's it. We've seen you three times, you're not having any more. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, it's just got to be done. Yeah, so remember, he used to press the button, but because of the uh, COVID uh, measures, he can't press the button. Rumpus Mansion, everybody. There we go. It's Donkey, it's been really nice seeing you again. Honestly. The highlight of any visit to Black Guy and Charlie. This little bloke down here with the long legs. Uh, how weird is that? Oh, uh, he's got a violin, but he's got really long legs as well. He's a cricket. Yeah, a uh, half human, half cricket. Cricket. And look at it. What do you think to his uh, his head just there? I think those horns are very nice, actually. Yeah, they are quite nice. He looks a bit like Frankenstein, doesn't he? At he first, does. like with the shape of his hair just there. There you go. He's just sitting there, nice and warm at the. Uh, at the dinner table. And you slowly ponder down this way. Are you enjoying Rumpus Mansion? Yeah, it's very strange. It is very strange. It's it is it's what? It's a is it a goat? It could be. It's got a I'm not too sure. Loads of like little animatronics and stuff. I mean you think how old some of this stuff is, you know, it is amazing. It's still working, it's still looking really good, and it's really enjoyable. <laughs> oh, I can't pop up. But all is not over yet here in Rumpus Mansion. It's a long walk through, this is. It's really long. Wow! Oh, hello. The Grand Queen has ordered that her steed be shod and groomed and harnessed with all speed. The smithy dwarf regards with baleful glare the haughty beast whose shoes he must repair. The dwarf, with understandable misgiving, has doubts as to the way he makes a living. The unicorn, with a sharp and well-aimed hoof, prepares to kick the dwarf clean through the roof. Even the movement though on some of these animatronics is actually really the good. The more you now see was false or ruthless, but the age has rendered him fruitless. No longer the pride of his warrior tribe. He's completely and Just there, like so creepy. It's got a really eerie but magical atmosphere in here. To the lake and river for her home, whence nature flocked to celebrate her awesome beauty, charm. Faster than I was Ready expecting to that. With a cackling laugh. <laughs> Any who stray within her path. Wow. <laughs> down into Black Gang Giant to see uh, that and I believe that is the end of our experience here at Rumpus Mansion. So you've just joined us there for the delights and wonders of Rumpus Mansion. Honestly I loved going back through that. It's my favourite thing here at Black Gang Giant and I know we take the mick out of how funny some of the bits are in there but it's actually some really good tech yeah, as well. Yeah I think the tech's quite good. I think it's quite clever how they've done it so that each scene sort of lights up as you step on like a sensor or mm. whatever but the end here 
bit shocked. Yeah. <laughs> like, some of the stuff in there, it's like, what? Is this a family walkthrough? I thought it was really, really good. Like you said, the quality of the animatronics was really good. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, and that's the thing, you know, with this place. Yes, it's designed for the kids, but as an adult, you can come here and have a really good laugh. Yeah, like, that was really there's funny. There's some funny bits. And, you know, if you come in as an adult and bringing kids to, they're going to really enjoy it. But as, a, as an adult, you're going to walk around some things and think, that's so funny. You know, these little bits, Definitely, what they've put yeah. in there. But, uh, no, really enjoying it. Let's carry on with our walkthrough. So here we're at this, I'm not quite sure what it is, but quite large teeth. Sean, what are you doing? There's a little hole down there. What? So I'm going to put my bag there and I think I'm going to have to take the coat off. I don't know one. if you're going to get through there. I don't know, but I'm going to have a try. Come over. Come over. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no way. Oh. 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 And, and, uh, no. oh. 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 But luckily, come around this way. You can still come in. Oh, God! I'm doing my head on that one. Come around this way, you still come inside. There we go. We're entering into his mouth just here. There we go. Come on in. Follow me around. Welcome to my humble mode. You got a nice little staircase. I'm going to walk here. Look. Put on a little show for you. There we go. Oh, is it the needles? Needles. 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 Needles, needles. So we're going this afternoon, but yeah, just random little things like this. Why not? Let's carry on. I've got the little, uh, oh, watch my head. Wild West Town coming up next. And I love this area. It's very heavily themed. Love the uh, Wild West theme. So as you can see here in the signage, we've got Cowboy Town, La Cantina, which is another one of the food outlets. I think they do a lot more hot food down here. You've got that Snakes and Ladders play area. I think that's closed at the moment, probably due to the COVID restrictions. But we can also go and check out the Fairyland area and the castle, which is down that way. But I think first we'll head uh, to the right just here and up into Cowboy Town, just up here through the trees. Uh, now, I really was surprised last time I came here three years ago at just how good this area was. Really well themed lots to look at and at certain, <laughs> certain times of the year Arlo little friend what's that you want you want to see Charlotte do a a dance a dance look at his little teeth oh bless him here we go howdy cowboys come on down to Black Guy China everybody we've got Granny Smith just up here doing a little dance for us hey our Granny Smith choked on an apple died May the 8th 1893 oh dear oh yeah that's it there we go where, where is Granny Smith there we go oh she's buried right I see I see what we've got going on. We've got loads of little uh, gravestones on Boots Hill just over here. Doug de Grave. Oh, Doug de Grave. That's a good one. And we've got Phil de Grave just over there as well. <laughs> oh, dear. How, how, how do you die? Yeah, how, how do you die? Oh, I love it, honestly. All the little puns. Who have we got over here? Wicker Man. Big Bob. Just in time. Just in, you get it? Just, just in time. Gil T. Guilty, there you go, guilty. All the little, little puns, what have we got down here? Eileen Dover. Oh, Eileen Dover and lean over. Oh dear, dear, dear. Fell off the cliff with Eileen. Oh dear. Here we go, yeah, we've got uh, Wicker Man just over here. Love the music. Howdy, cowboys, and welcome to Cowboy Town here at Black Gang China on the Isle of Wight, June 2021. <laughs> there we go. See, you've got the stage just here. Got some lovely views out there. Really nice. But yeah, they actually do a lot of special events here at the park. They do fireworks. Sometimes they do special Wild West shows down here on this uh, stage as well. See, so you've got a big safe just over there. That's where they keep all the money from admission when you come into the park. But yeah, I was blown away by this area last time. It's just really nicely themed. Like, can you imagine a nice little uh, wooden coaster or something just running around the side? How nice would that be? But yeah, you've got the uh, big train just over here as well. Really good, impressive theming that they've got down here. And the track looks great down there as well. Little uh, water tower just here, Buffalo Creek, not Buffalo Falls, Buffalo Creek. 365 days without water, oh dear. So while I'm having a walk round, I seem to have lost Sean. No Look, worries. oh, he's there. Over here, just uh, I'm trapped. Help. Yeah, no, it's crawled in down through the little uh, pipe just down here, another little uh, walk through that you can come down. Just have a little look in the shop just over there as well. They've got a few nice, uh, few nice gifts, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. Just got to try and uh, pull back out now. <laughs> here I come. <laughs> oh, 
I do like how they've got lots of little walkthrough oh, attractions. I'm getting too old for this. 28, getting down on my knees. But yeah, look at this round here. It's great, all the theming. Got these nice big uh, horses just over here. I know we haven't exclusively hired it out for us today. It might look like it is open to other guests, but uh, there's literally hardly anybody about, like just the odd few people. But we're kind of going to have a look around the cowboy town now. So just before we go into the National Bank just over there, we've got this nice little chapel over here as well. <laughs> here we go. You look very tall standing behind that, or is that small? I don't Welcome know. Welcome to my chapel. Please come take a seat. You want, want me to sit down on that? Sit down on my chapel. <laughs> what? Oh my god. There we go. Just have a nice little sit down. Yeah, it's all right in here, isn't it? Like... Welcome to my chapel. <laughs> is that all you can say? Welcome to my chapel. Sing some hymns for me. <laughs> I don't even know any hymns. I'm a bad. Does that make me a bad human? No, yeah. Get out of my yeah. There you go. It's not scary, mate. It's blimey. I mean, it's a family park. Family park. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. So many like little areas here just for uh, just having a bit of a laugh. Oh, people. People. There you go. Go around here into the uh, the National Bank just over here. Let's have a look in the bank. Oh, oh, he's got his gun out. There we go. You are being robbed. Look at his gun just down here. There you go. But yeah, I'd love to come here at some point. Oh, there he is. Don't worry, mate. I'll take it from here. You're going to be absolutely fine. Like, don't you worry about it, pal. You're going to be fine. Yeah, I'd love to come and see like some of the shows and stuff they do down here. I said last time that next time I come, I'll come on one of them days, but we haven't, have we? <laughs> but, um, you know, certainly something to come back for at some point in the future. Here we go. He's looking the safe. There's all the big uh, gold blocks just down there as well. How much money's worth of gold? There we go. Whoa. About one and a half million, I reckon, in gold. Reserves just down there. Not too sure. <laughs> there we go, round into the saloon now. What you got for me in here, Charlotte? Got it! Hey, here we go. Oh, the, drink. the bartender. The drinks look a bit uh, flat just over there, if you know what I mean. But <laughs> there we go. Nice little one. Beverage, please. One beverage. What do you want? A whiskey? Whis Can I have a whiskey, please? Whiskey? My whiskey, my whiskey. Oh, it's Europa Park, Ron Park. But here we go. These guys have got a drink. I just walked into this uh, post just there behind me. Why is it with me today? Walking into things. Here we go. Got uh, playing some cards just over here. Who's winning? Who's winning the game? <laughs> it's a great little place though, this. I do like it. Got a lot of character. And here's me and Charlotte just over here in about 20 years time. <laughs> just sitting in the, uh, in the saloon thinking, God, do you remember 20 years ago when we had to wear masks to go inside? Like, uh, yeah, honestly, hopefully we're coming to the end of that soon. Fingers crossed. Won't be too long. Things are starting to ease, aren't they now? But you go upstairs just here in the uh, in the saloon as well. So nice little pictures up here. I do love the uh, love the Wild West style theming. There you go. And there's La Cantina. So yeah, there's not loads of food here, obviously, because it's not a massive park. And uh, in terms of is it a full day out if you've got kids? It probably is, you know. But uh, yeah, in terms of us, it's probably like a, a few hours kind of day out for you if you're an adult. But uh, it's well worth it, you know, especially if you want to come down, have a bit of a laugh, see some of the theming. You can take some great photos and stuff here as well, which is nice. Just like here, it's a great, great view. Really, really well themed as well. Like you really appreciate theming and immersive areas. It's a really good part to come to, just to come and uh, see all of that. So I've got some sad news for all of you viewers. I mean, we've just come out of the saloon there, but Charlotte has been stealing whiskey. So you know what happens when you've been stealing, don't you? You end up in jail. Oh, here she is. I've come to visit you. I can't believe it, stealing all that whiskey. Thank you for coming to see me. Can you get me out? I can't. I'm sorry. Please. I've got to keep you in here. I don't think there's a way of uh, getting you out. No, you, you're, you're locked in. Oh, let, me come in. let me come up the bars and just open yeah. up. Someday, get out. I don't, I don't think you can. You're, you're stuck in there forever. Please, I've not even got any bedding. <laughs> You haven't got any bedding? I've got my yeah, bed. There you go, here's your bedding. No bedding. Have you tried just like, opening this? No. Just go like that. Oh. There you go. I'm out. You are free! Oh, okay. Free to enjoy the rest of Black Gang Chine. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I do love it. Oh, I need tripped again then, honestly. Like, a trip's coming down there. What is it with me today? What am I doing? So I've just been to the toilet in this area and thought that this was worth mentioning. I've actually got an announcement in there playing from a cowboy who's like, please make sure you wash your hands before you go into the area. How cool is that? Like normally you wouldn't go to the toilet and have an announcement. And also the fact that it's themed to the area is good. Like it shows how immersive it is here at Black Gang Chai and all the little things that they do. But uh, Charlotte's got somebody over here who she wants to get in the vlog. Who have we got? This is the John. What do you mean the John? It's just the John, isn't it? The John, there he is. The John, let's go and have a close look at the John. 
And there he is. He's got his nice little hat on. Has he got teeth on his hat there? I think he has. Like, like, he's the sheriff. Massive teeth. Got a little reading his newspaper just down there as well. There you go. The John. Thanks, the Everybody. John. Thank the you so much for appearing in today's vlog from Black Gang China. So they're snakes and ladders, the slides that they've got here. Don't think they're closed because of COVID restrictions. Seems like it's just because of the wet weather. Like I say, yesterday when we got the ferry over here to the Isle of Wight, um, then yeah, it was absolutely chucking it down all day. So yeah, probably due to safety reasons, that's why those are closed. But got a map just down here. Like I say, it's not a huge place to walk around. It's more just a few hours kind of day out if you're an adult. But if you're a kid, then yeah, you can spend all day here. So obviously we've covered all of this um, area just down here. Uh, and then of course, we've been through the underwater kingdom cowboy town gonna have a little look down here in fairyland then now and then of course we'll be able to head down to this side where we've got the dinosaur area that's quite a large area that goes all the way down the hillside and then of course we've got a few different rides to experience up here as well so we'll uh, take you on those water force you've got cliffhanger um that's the little roller coaster there's a little uh, teacups ride just up there as well and a few of the little funny bits to get in just up there but yeah we'll have a look down here in fairyland now not too sure exactly who this is, but that is definitely not a fairy. Uh, that's a very strange looking fairy that is but uh, here we go this place is so eftelling if you haven't already seen our vlogs from eftelling in the netherlands check it out this area here is the closest thing you'll probably get to eftelling in the uk like all these little things that looks like long neck that's Did, basically it, long neck yeah with his miserable little face and he's got like a toad still on his head yeah no it does i mean there's a lot of things here that do resemble eftelling like the bins and uh, you gotta think eftelling is also a very old park but this is older so so maybe the designers of Efteling came here to Black Gang Chine. I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is lovely here. I mean, one of my favourite views in the park. This section here is the sort of thing that Mildred the goat stands in. I don't, I don't think there's a goat here, though. There's no goats here, but just think Mildred here. Oh, wow. That'd be even more amazing. Or a full, a full goat walkthrough. That Come on, Black Gang Chine, let's see you put that in. But uh, yeah, very nice. You've got the castle just up there as well. We'll head up there shortly and have a look at the uh, at the castle. Gorgeous up there. Definitely very Disneyland inspired. Looks a very similar design to the castle at Disneyland in California. And of course, you've got all the little uh, seats just down here as well. But yeah, it's lovely. I think we'll head up to the castle. Here we are then, inside the little princess castle just here. Sorry, the fairy tale castle. There we go. You okay in there? You're all right, she's just sleeping. Got some nice lights around there as well. I think she's been down to, uh, to B&M Bargains. Yeah, B&M, got some string lights put around the bed. Yeah, why not? Here we go. But yeah, you got lots of little uh, bits to walk around here, but we actually go up the tiny little steps up here onto the top of the castle. That's very Disney inspired. Definitely, here we go. Nice little walk around. Here we go. Got the little turrets to walk up here as well. I think someone's uh, chucking down them uh, little things, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they make the little noise. There you go, little castle. You even go right up onto this top turret just here. Bear in mind, it is very small. Like when you're quite tall like I am, you know, you will struggle. But here we go, we can come up onto this top turret where we get a nice view across the castle. There we go. Little turrets up here. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's getting busy now, quite a few people starting to come in. I mean, we got down here nice and early, didn't we? Ready for opening, but of course, you know, a lot of people don't get here straight away. So yeah, it's, it's a Saturday today though, so obviously a lot of people coming down to enjoy the day. So just before we head down to see the dinosaurs, just thought I'd mention about the crooked house just here. Uh, of course, some more facts for you. Did you know the mirrors in the Hall of Mirrors are 85 years old. Each of the mirrors is original and has been in the park since 1933. Blimey, this place has got so much history, hasn't it? It's, uh, it'd be serious bad luck if you smash one of those. Love all the signs that they put up and all the branding's great for here as well. But yeah, it looks like the crooked house is having a bit of a overhaul at the moment, all their mirrors being replaced. But yeah, of course, um, you know, it's always good to see them looking after these things and repairing them it's just crazy to think that you know that this building here uh, is as old as it is like this was this building was built like 25 years before disneyland opened That's crazy. But it is amazing like some of the history that we've got here in our own country it really is great Right then, so we're going into restricted area five though now. Don't worry, it's not that restricted. I mean, they've got an electric fence just out the front here. It does say danger high voltage, but don't worry, it's certainly not real. I thought it wasn't real. Let's go. And now Charlotte's gonna tell you the name of this dinosaur. 
The Pachycephalosaurus. <laughs> Is that how we say it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I actually tells you how to pronounce it there as well. There you go. Lovely. Massive dinosaur animatronics down in this area. There we go. So we make our way down. We go and see these. So this walkthrough actually runs down the chine itself, down the hillside just here. And of course, Charlotte's going to be getting a coaster credit today. Yay! We've got a little junior coaster here, the cliffhanger. So we'll be heading on there shortly. But we'll do the walkthroughs first. You okay there, mate? What have we got here then? Iguanodon. You know what the Iguanodon's from, don't you? Dinosaur, no, Animal we're Kingdom. Not gonna make it. We're not going to make it. Honestly, we can't wait to get back to Florida. We've got our fingers crossed that we'll be back later this year, but who knows at the moment? Really hoping to get back to Florida. Oh, honestly. Yeah, this is a great view down here, all the dinosaurs. I like how it kind of goes down the hillside just here. Really adds to it. It makes it really scenic with the water just out there. So we're going down to enclosure number one. Here we go. So we've got a little dinosaur up here in the uh, in the trees, I think. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Squirts out a bit of water at you there, Charlotte. Wasn't expecting that. What? You're all right there. Oh, here we go. He's got me. <laughs> He's got me. Here we go. You all right there? No. Uh, don't worry. We've got a little water ride for you to get on here anyway. Little dinghy slides. Here oh, we go. I like that. Yeah, I like this little dinghy slide. All the dinosaurs going, oh, high voltage fence. It's like I said, they're definitely not, uh, definitely not real. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> of course they're not real, but uh, it's all good fun. Very well themed though down here, all the animatronics. Got some big eggs to stand in just down there. Who doesn't love some big eggs? It took quite some work to actually build this and put these large dinosaurs in because some of them are absolutely huge like this one that we can see just here and especially the location here on the hillside weights 110 tons one of the largest dinosaurs that has been discovered one of the biggest mysteries of the modern day there we go this dinosaur was named after the country it was found in argentina of course there you go fun little dinosaur fact for you full of the facts here on this channel Fun facts, that's what it's all about, having a good time. Be careful there, Charlotte, be careful. You're not seeing what's around this corner. There he is, the big T-Rex. Look at him, huge animatronic. He is massive, I love how they put this platform out. How good's that? Really, really good. Uh, that's the thing, some of the theme in here, you just wouldn't expect it from what is a very small little park over on the Isle of Wight. You just wouldn't think, you know, they'd have the funds to be able to afford some of this big theme in and props and animatronics, but it's incredible. This place might not have loads of rides, but what you can see here is a really nice themed experience. Stuff like this. I mean, kids would be amazed, you know, coming to see something like that. I'm amazed, that is huge. Probably like 30 foot long. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. 7,000 kilograms. I love how they get the sound effects just right as well. You know, it's just a nice kind of bassy sound effect like it would actually be. You know, he's not going in for the big attack. He's just going quite slowly, just prowling, looking at us. I must say, I love the movement of his tail just here. Oh, watch yourself. Oh, <laughs> Charles getting whipped down here in this area. Here we go, coming again. Oh, 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 Wait. oh. <laughs> yeah, how swift is the movement on that? Really nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> that is, you guys do it again. Honestly, it's just so satisfying, that is. Oh, he stopped. That's it, no fun, please. Oh, that's it, he's gone. Well, maybe he won't be doing it again. <laughs> he'll carry on walking down. He's got to reset the uh, animatronics. Like, no, three times is enough. That's all the fun that you get in. Oh, it's getting vicious down here. Look at it. Get back, Charlotte. Get back. Get back. Get back. Oh, my God. You're right down there. <laughs> God, there's some movement in those. There is some movement in them. There we go. Oh, we've calmed down a bit now. That was oh, really vicious. Well, I don't know, just they were like no, proper going for it. They've gone alright now, now we're here. Right. You think so? Yeah. They had some proper movement in and they did, blimey. They're alright now, they are. 
So you've got quite a bit of play equipment down here as well, like some of these big dinosaurs that you can climb on, along with the animatronics, of course, around the walkthrough as well. So there's a lot to see. This is probably the biggest walkthrough, I'd say. This is really, really good. Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, there's quite a lot of places that run these dinosaur attractions. It's like separate admission. So yeah, this is like one of the highlights here. And I love the location of it. And the fact that it's got these little pathways, these little walkthroughs that you can go through. Like the size of this is absolutely huge. What we got down there then, Charlotte? I believe this is a Triceratops. Got the little baby just down there. Oh. And look at the size of this beast over here. It's absolutely wow. massive animatronic. Brilliant, look at him go. That is huge. Look at his eyes. That is amazing. I love the movement in there as well. Oh, he stopped making a noise now. I say, oh, he's gone to sleep. He's gone to sleep. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's absolutely massive. If you don't like spiders, look away now. Here they are, some massive tarantulas down here. And this big slug down there as well. Do you like the big slug? I like the slug, but I don't like the spider. You're not keen on the spider? No, I don't like I'm not trampling on him. Like, he's massive. Yeah. He's coming for you. Well, I'll tell you what we've also got over here. Another nice little photo opportunity. Here we go. Gardener's rest. I like the big snail just on the side there. Got another snail down here. Oh, yeah, the onions have got little faces on. There you are, and just a little, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything really inside here, just a little seated area under cover. Cover if it's raining, there you go. But uh, yeah, little gardener's rest area. Lovely. Look at the size of this animatronic it's getting a bit dinosaur. Aggressive. Honestly, but uh, yeah, we've been through most of the walkthrough attractions here now. There's still a couple bits more to see after we've had some lunch, but uh, restricted area five. I really like that down there. I think that was really good. I think the animatronics was really good, and it was at such a large scale as well. Yeah, they're massive. Like really, all the really sound big. effects down there, and of course the fact that it's on the hill with the views of the sea really make that. Definitely. Uh, this is the closest thing in the UK you'll get to going to Efteling. Oh, I love Efteling. <laughs> like, I know Efteling's got a lot of big coasters and stuff as well but the fairy tale forest like the heart of f -Tally, is very similar to this isn't it 100%, well obviously yeah. this is old though you know which is crazy but um yeah we're gonna um, have some lunch now i think aren't we we are We've got the chine cafe i think it's called just up on here on the side i went here last time and the food was good I'm so excited. yeah we're gonna have some lunch here and of course got a few rides to get on afterwards <laughs> right then so we've had a nice lunch haven't we what did you have i had a jacket potato it was lovely oh and i had a really nice chicken strips and chips come around this corner charlotte we're coming into the pet shop now hey welcome to the black gang chime pet shop got the penguin somewhere in there and just see the little eyes there we go full of animatronics how cool is this <laughs> you press all the different buttons oh dodo eggs up there I'm sure he just said hello, Sean. Oh, big spider down there. Oh my god. I like the polar bear. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. <laughs> He's scared, viewers. There you go. And we've got Max just over here, the dog. Oh, that's the snake. Oh, there are they. Really cool in here. I like how they all start singing and joining in. There we go. Da -da -da -da, the black guy and shine. Oh, that's lovely. Look at his big eyes. Hello, oh. Big cat in there. Baby shark. Do -do 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 -do. Baby shark. Do -do 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 -do. Baby shark. Right, you ready for a coaster? Yeah. Right, we're going over on the cliffhanger now. You got some great views of the cliffs, believe it or not. <laughs> right then, so you got a few different rides then down here at Black Gang Chine. As you can see, you got the pirate barrels just over there, little spinning barrels ride. And the signature attraction, cliffhanger. That's the roller coaster here. But you actually get some really nice views of the Chine itself. Up she goes. Quite a long train, aren't they, on these uh, little junior coasters? Here we go. Round it goes to the top. So yeah, of course, I've been on this before a few years ago, but Charlotte's not. So she's going to be getting a cred down here at Black Gang Chimes. Yeah, we'll go and uh, join the queue. I say queue. There's literally two people waiting. Let's go and have a ride. Here we go then on the cliffhanger roller coaster. Oh, we're near the front of the train on this one there, Charlotte. Ready to rise, a credit for you. Yeah. Over 300 coasters now, another one for the list. 
And this is the reason why it's called the Cliffhanger. Look at the view. Really nice. There's the beach down there. The needles over in the needles, distance. Needles, needles. <laughs> hey, and here we go. Way. It's not as rough as I remember actually, it's okay. It's actually pretty smooth. It's quite good. What a great view though, gotta be one of the best views from a coaster in the country. Screaming down on the front row. I think we get two laps on this one, it's a two lap special. Even though we, uh, we break and we come down here. Yeah, you got a couple of other little attractions down here as well. It's very slow through here. The views are great though. Really good. Yeah, I love the views. You look at it and you think it's going to be quite rough, don't you? But it's actually not too bad. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was rough or not. It has been three years. Love how slow it still goes through, even though we get two laps. You'd have thought it wouldn't like break as much, wouldn't you, really, when it comes through? But here we go. Now, of course, as I mentioned previously, with this park, over the years, a lot of it has actually fallen into the sea. This is the land that's just eroded away. And from up here, you can see how some of the buildings have actually eroded over the years. If you look just down here in a moment. Here we go. So you see how all that pathway there, it's all fallen into the sea, all across the side there. So gradually, they've had to move things further in. Family coaster, it's all right. There we go. Cliffhanger, one of only two roller coasters on the Isle of Wight. Right then, just did our ride there over on Cliffhanger. How was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Such a nice little section of the track, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's not a bad little layout. Enjoyed it, but I've got a little warning for you now. The next ride you go on may be stressful. Stressful, here we go. <laughs> Stressful ride. There we go, we're going on the dinghy slide. So you got three to choose from. Of course, you got the indoor cover one just here. Then you got the two outdoor ones. I think the indoor one might be a bit stressful for me. So I'm going to go for the uh, for the outdoor one. What are you thinking? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, I want to go. There you go, you got some nice uh, lights here in the trees. Here you go, we had this little warning. It could get a bit, uh, you're all right. <laughs> Drip, dripping down might get a bit stressful. So let's go and have a ride. Here we go, there's Charlotte over on the plug hole. She's got on the indoor one, there we go. Now I'm on overflow, here we go. Whee! I can't remember if you actually get wet on this or not at the bottom. Oh, air time! <laughs> Whee! Oh! Oh well, gosh, you must have come fast down that one. Did you enjoy plug hole? That was really good actually, I enjoyed it. Some nice effects you said in there. Yeah, there was like, it was like twinkly stars on the ceiling, it was good. Oh, there we go. So what have we got here, right under, the, oh, above us. So this is whale bones. Here we go. This is the original feature, I believe, down here at Black Gang Chine. What people came to see, this is what started it all off. And this is genuine, I think they found it on the needles actually. Where are we going this afternoon? The needles, needles. <laughs> needles. <laughs> You're all joining at home with that Look now. How long but yeah, this gives you a bit of information in here. It's like a little exhibition. It's really impressive. It takes you through. Yeah, it's massive. It makes you realise just how big them creatures are, doesn't it? Yeah. There you go, a whale of a story. There you go. So yeah, in, uh, in 1844, it was stranded on the needles. There you go. And of course, it was brought up here for people to see. This room tells you all about the landslides that they have down here at the Black Gang Chine. There we go. So yeah, you stand on it and it's like a platform that shakes side to side. A bit of a scare for you. Oh, oh. And of course the experience in here ends with a nice hall of mirrors. There we go, we got Charlotte there. Dancing, you got very uh, funny feet in that one. Really funny feet. This is, oh, gone really long. Not this one. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is a funny one. Have a little, uh, little dance with this one. There we go. Oh, look how long my fingers get there. Ooh, how creepy is that? Oh, wow. Look at those fingers. Oh. Another view then of Cliffhanger just here, of course, on the cliffs. We've only got a couple more things to see then now here before we wrap up our vlog from Black Gang Chine. What have we got then now? So we're now going in Moby Dick's Revenge. Excuse me? What? 
Moby Dick's Revenge. Oh, Moby Dick's Revenge, right, okay. You might even get wet inside Moby, Moby Dick's, Dick's Revenge. Revenge. So let's go inside, here we go. Here's Moby Dick inside the mouth. Oh, look at that tongue. Oh, that's a big tongue. Wow. Oh. What, what do you think to Moby Dick's Revenge? Fantastic. I think there's normally some water effects in here coming out of these, but I don't think they're working, unfortunately. Since we went down to visit here to Black Gang Chine, the land of imagination, we're coming on the pirate barrels here, and it's actually Charlotte doing the spinning, which is rare. Yeah. Normally on me, she's like, no, I'm not spinning. What's changed your mind? Just a bit of fun, isn't it? Here we go, she's I'm going for it, here we go. Oh, she's stopping now, she's getting dizzy. Well, I'll get this thing spinning oh, no. round. No, here we no, go. No, no. <laughs> here we go, that's so. Number two, fam. Here we go. You can actually feel the whole thing tilting as well. Uh -huh. There's only a baby one. Here we go. Tell you what, let me uh, pass that over to you. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, oh there you go. Black and China, everybody. Oh, no, stop it, please. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all right for you? No. Oh. Lovely. Well, yeah, we'll make our way back outside and we'll wrap up this vlog for a very dizzy Black and China. Whoa, there he is carrying that barrel. We'll see you again soon. See you again, the smuggler. But uh, honestly, what a lovely visit down here to Black Gang Chai in the land of imagination. I really enjoyed it. Like I say, when I came here three years ago and discovered it all, honestly, I was really impressed with the theming and details here. And it's a lovely little place. It's only a small park, but it's got so much going for it. I love it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. The quality of the walkthroughs are really good. Mm. The animatronics are great. There's some little funny bits. Yeah, loads Just of funny bits. Are really good, like with the family. It's just a great day out, I'd say. It is, and they really care so much about the theming and details. Like the animatronics, the quality of them are great. Yeah, the animatronics, like the movement and stuff's really good on them. Yeah, the dinosaur walkthrough is probably the best for that. And of course, uh, Rumpus Mansion that I'm a big fan that of. That's really good. It's just so funny, isn't it? And even up here on the car park, you got these uh, little figures just here. As soon as you come in uh, to the land of imagination and discover it all. Like I said, they've got a sister park, Robin Hill. We're going to be going there tomorrow. Woo! So last time we did them both in the same day, but this time we thought we'll come for the weekend and, uh, and kind of do them both over that. But uh, here we go, we've got these little fellas. I love how they've got the masks on. Oh, great, love it. But so they're not even made of material, are they? Like a plastic, I think, for the weather. But uh, there you go, back at Black Gang Chine here on the Isle of Wight. Where are we going now then, Charlotte? Because we're going to the needles. Needles, 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 needles. We're going on a boat trip, hopefully, and definitely a chairlift down there. And I think there's a couple of other small rides that we'll have a look at as well. So thanks for joining me and Charlotte. Come and see us in the next vlog from the needles. needles. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and, and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you at the needles. <laughs>